Welcome! In this video, I will walk you through an introduction to navigating line diagrams and I will use this report, which shows the births and deaths for four cities in Scotland. This video looks at some of the navigation which is available for line diagrams, but please bear in mind this is one example and there could be more information in any line charts which you have received than that shown here. The report used in this video can be found at tinyurl.com forward slash line diagrams and I have also provided the link in this video's description. Here we have two line diagrams. The larger diagram shows the total births and deaths for four cities in Scotland. The x-axis shows the years from 1991 to 2020 and the y-axis shows total births and total deaths. If you hover over any of the lines, you can see the total figures for each category. If you click on the line at any point, the page updates to show just the information for those data points. To reset the diagram, you can either click the point again, or as an alternative, you can click anywhere in the diagram, but outside the lines. If you would like to zoom in on the years, you can just go to the solid line below the years and move the circle in any direction you require to allow the diagram to zoom in to focus on that period. Under the title of the diagram, Births and Deaths by Year, you can click on the births and the birth line becomes more prominent. You can do the same for deaths. Again, click to reset the diagram. You can see which filters are affecting the diagram if you go to the funnel symbol and hover over it. At the moment, you can see that the council section contains the word city. This indicates that there's actually a larger data set behind the scenes available and the creator of the report has been advised to filter out the other data available, such that only councils whose name contains the word city remain. You can also adjust the diagram by altering the year selector at the top of the page. In this case, filtering from 2010 to 2020 updates the entire page. The large line diagram now only shows information from 2010 to 2020. I will clear the filter. The focus mode symbol, if you click on that button, provides a larger view of the diagram. This larger diagram operates in exactly the same way as the smaller diagram from which you've been redirected. A point to note here is that you can right click on the diagram and select show as a table. As you can see underneath the diagram we now get a list of the years and the number of births and the number of deaths relating to each year. We have this symbol in the top right hand corner which says switch to vertical layout. If we click that our table now moves to sit alongside our diagram. If we wish to get back to our original report, all we do is click the Back to Report button. Back in the original view, again on the large diagram, if you right click and select Show as a table, this will also take you back in to the Focus Mode view. Again, Back to Report. If, however, we go to our year filter and reduce our years such that we go from, say, 2010 to 2020, and this time if we go into our larger line diagram and select show as a table, you will see that in our table we only now see the information for the years 2010 to 2020. 
back to our report, resetting our year slicer. I will now turn my attention to the births and deaths line diagram on the left hand side of the page. The second line diagram contains the same information as in the larger diagram, but it's broken down into the four cities. Again, you can hover over to see the relative figures and the same symbols appear at the top of the diagram. You can again select the births to highlight the births line or deaths to highlight the deaths line. This time, however, if you select the diagram and right click and select show as a table, I'll switch to vertical layout. You can see that this time the figures are broken down for each of the four different cities shown in the diagram. Again, we can go back to our report. This diagram can also act as a filter for the entire page. For instance, if we go to the wording City of Edinburgh and click on it, our larger diagram updates to only show the figures for Edinburgh and the boxes beneath the larger diagram also update to only show the information for Edinburgh. If I now right click in the larger diagram and select show as a table, the information which appears is now for Edinburgh only. This is not the total births and deaths anymore. It is only Edinburgh's figures which appear. Remember previously when you selected show as a table for this diagram, it was showing you the total for all four cities. So it's just something to be aware of when you start filtering diagrams on reports. Always be clear how much information you have requested to be pulled through into your relevant page. Back to the report. The report used so far in this video has been published online which anyone can access but you may have been provided with the report in a Power BI workspace in which case more options may be available for example you may have more symbols across the top here we can see that we now have the ability to pin a visual to a dashboard Alternatively, we can copy the visual as an image and once prepared, we can copy to clipboard and then insert into whichever document we require. You might want to insert it into a Word document or a PowerPoint, for example. You also have the ability to select more options sitting under the three dots and you can explore these other options here. The information that you will get back from the options will depend on your user rights. One useful function here is the ability to export the data to an Excel spreadsheet or to a CSV file. This has been an introductory walkthrough of how to navigate line diagrams as you can see, you can change the view of them and they may contain more information than that which appears on the surface. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.